Welcome to Dr. Zhivago's Neighborhood. Hi everybody, Dr. Zhivago here and I am going to be making some Porto's, what is it? Porto's cheese roll with guava. Okay, I'm gonna show you how my version is. It usually comes frozen and they deliver it to your house. I'm just gonna make it with this puff pastry from Walmart. It's the Pepperidge Farm puff pastry sheets. So I saw this on YouTube. I'm gonna see if it's if it's sort of similar like that. But um, you're gonna use your little tray, and I'm gonna use a second one because it says to have two layers of, of your baking sheets on there. Um, and then I'm gonna put this on top of it, and then cut it into nine pieces. Um, inside, we are going to use the no-bake cheesecake filling, but we're going to bake it, okay? And then we're going to use the Conchita Guava Paste from World, was it World Market? World Market, and oh my gosh, look at, look at that. It tastes just like candy, oh my gosh. So it comes like this, and, and it comes in a huge bar, and you cut it in half, and then you cut it into squares like so. So you need six perfect pieces there. So yeah, I'm gonna try it out, see how it goes. And I think it's gonna be just great. And I'm gonna follow directions, um, just, just like how it says in the sheet here that came with the original Portos. So we're gonna bake, uh, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. And then we're going to um, put it in for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then we're gonna make the uh, simple sugar mix for the top. And I'm so excited to use this. Um, we'll see how it goes. Hello everybody. Okay, so first of all, we're going to get the puff pastry. And you can use a Pepperidge Farm puff pastry sheets. You can get this anywhere, um, Walmart, I think Target has it, Ralph's, uh, Vons, wherever you can find the, it's usually in the uh, pie crust area or the bread, the frozen bread area. I forgot what aisle, but you can go and check it out. Okay, um, then we're going to, we're going to be putting the puff pastry on a double pan, okay? And um, then you're gonna put the puff pastry, it's, it's gotta be a little soft, but you know, the one from Porto's comes um, like frozen. So I think it'll be okay if it's a little tough. But um, usually you could put it into the uh, microwave for about 15 seconds each side. You flip it, um, take it out of the package and it's frozen, put it in for 15 seconds, 15 seconds in the microwave and then um, flip it and then another 15 seconds in a microwave and it'll be thawed out, which is fine. Okay, so we're gonna slice, uh, you know, a couple of guava bricks like this and you're going to put it on top of each section. And I made it exactly nine, oops. <laughs> I have to cut another three. <laughs> One, and they're pretty thick because my husband likes lots of guava and lots of fruit. So I'm gonna put it like this, and then we're gonna put a dollop of the cream cheese. Well, this says no bake, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there anyways. So I'm just gonna put like a little dollop. Ah, oh, please. 
No, I think I still order quarter. Then you're going to put the same, you're gonna put it on like a s'more. So let me show you before I put it on. This is what it's gonna look like, okay? You're gonna layer it up like a s'more. And then, oops, you're gonna put this on the top like so. And then you're just gonna press the sides. Just like a ravioli. Then you're going to find your sides and then you're going to, I would say just getting like a longer, um, a longer uh, utensil. But if you don't have that, then just use your, the back of your knife and press it down slightly like so but don't cut it okay oh my gosh i can smell it already looking good in the neighborhood okay then you do on this side just make sure you press it down so it looks like ravioli like a little pillow like a quilted pillow a quilted pillow pillowcase. Each little pillow. And I'm using the dull side of the knife again. Okay. And then I'm gonna follow the uh, Porto's directions. Sometimes you could take your flat of your knife and just press down the sides like so. Okay. And so it's gonna look like this, all right? Okay. Okay, for simple sugar, you're gonna need um, half a cup of water and half a cup of just simple sugar. World Market. And um, this is actually half a cup right here. You can see half a cup. And this is a, a little over, this is, I don't know, what is that? Two eights? I can't really see. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put half a cup of sugar into this in a microwavable bowl, and then half a cup of the, the water into there and put it in the microwave. Get it out of the microwave. This is what it's gonna look like nice and hot and you're gonna get like a brush to wipe um the wipe the pastry tops with this simple sugar looking good so after it's out of the oven um you're going to put the simple sugar solution and wipe it with your brush over the uh, the pastry itself the whole entire area and you're not gonna make it too wet so cover as much surface as you can and then you're just gonna let try it out looks really flaky <gasps> looks so good oh my gosh it looks just like portals. I'm gonna put some um, sugar powdered sugar on the top of it Quick note, right after you take it out of the oven, just let it sit and cool for a minute because it is hot. Oh my goodness, but look at it with the powdered sugar. Gordo's mm. <laughs> triumph. <laughs> We are going to make hibachi Japanese style at the table. So cool, look at this. <laughs>